Hello grade 9 learners! Have a nice day! Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'll be discussing to you about illustrating quadratic inequality. This is grade 9 lesson for week 5 in the first quarter. And of course, after watching this video, you will be able to determine whether the given mathematical sentence is an example of quadratic inequality or not and at the same time you can represent a certain situation using quadratic inequality now let's begin with defining quadratic inequality talking about quadratic inequality it is a mathematical sentence that contains a polynomial of degree 2 with an inequality symbols so it means that the highest degree is only 2. When we're talking about degree, it refers to the exponent of the variable. Remember, the highest exponent of the variable is only 2. The four symbols used for inequalities are the following. First, this symbol is less than or is less than or is fewer than. Example, x less than 6. We have 5 is less than 6. Next, less than or equal to. It can also be called at most or is no more than. We have x is at most 9. 7 is at most or 7 is is less than or equal to 9. Next, the symbol is greater than or is greater than or is more than. Example, x is greater than 7. We have 8 is greater than 7. Next symbol, greater than or equal to. It can also be called at this or no less than. Example, x is greater than or equal to 8. 9 is greater than or equal to 8. Now let us familiarize the standard form of quadratic inequality and it can be written in any of the following forms. We have ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than or equal to 0, or ax squared plus bx plus c is greater than 0, ax squared plus bx plus c is less than 0, or ax squared plus bx plus c is less than or equal to 0. All of these are the quadratic inequality in standard form. Remember, A, B, and C are real numbers, and A should not be equal to 0. What will happen if A will become 0? If A will become 0, then this will not become quadratic anymore. This will become linear, okay? That is why A should not be equal to 0. Next is you have to familiarize with the characteristics of quadratic inequality. First, it contains a polynomial of degree 2, meaning to say that the highest exponent of the variable is only 2. Next, the numerical coefficient of the first term x squared should not be equal to 0. As what I have said, if the coefficient of the first term is 0, then it will not become quadratic. It will become linear. And last, there should be an inequality symbol in the mathematical sentence. So remember, all of these characteristics will qualify the mathematical sentence to be quadratic inequality. Now we are going to determine whether the mathematical sentence is an example of quadratic inequality or not. Number one x squared minus 4x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. Okay, this one is an example of quadratic inequality. 
the highest degree is 2. And we have here inequality symbol. Number 2. 2x squared plus 4x plus 10 equals 0. This one is not quadratic inequality. Though the highest degree is 2, but here we do not have inequality symbol. This is equal sign. Next, 4x plus 5 is less than 0. This is not quadratic inequality. The degree is only 1. Though we have here inequality symbol, but the degree here is only 1. It must be 2. That is why example number 3 is not quadratic inequality. Number 4. 5 x squared minus 14x minus 3 is greater than 0. Okay. This is quadratic inequality. The degree is 2. And we have here inequality symbol. Number 5. X cubed plus X squared minus X minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. This is not quadratic inequality. Why? The degree is 3. One of the characteristics is that the highest degree is only 2. Number 6. Quantity of x minus 5 times quantity of x plus 1 is less than 0. Can we consider this as quadratic inequality? Okay, if you are given a mathematical sentence like this, first you have to simplify quantity of x minus 5 times quantity of x plus 1. So we have to multiply. We are going to apply the FOIL method. So we have x times x that is equal to x squared. Now to get the middle term, we have negative 5 plus 1 that is negative 4 times x. So we have negative 4x. And for the third term, we have negative 5 times 1. The answer is negative 5. I guess I had made a video on how to simplify um, equation like this in my previous video. Okay, so the resulting inequality now is x squared minus 4x minus 5 is less than 0. Now, can we consider this as quadratic inequality? Okay, yes, that is an example of quadratic inequality. Now, let's represent the situation. The length of the rectangular garden is 6 feet more than its width. The area is at most 40 square feet. First, we have to assign a certain variable to represent for the length as well as the width of the rectangular garden. So we can assign x as the width of a rectangular garden and x plus 6 as the length of a rectangular garden. Why we have x plus 6? Based on the problem, the length of the rectangular garden is 6 feet more than its width. So if x is the width, then the length will be added by 6. That is why we have x plus 6 because of this statement, 6 feet more than its width. Now, let's recall that the formula in finding the area of a rectangle is length times width. Now, we are now ready to form an, in an inequality out of this, that the area is at most 40 square feet. So instead of using the equal sign, we're going to make use of inequality symbol. So let's substitute. Our length is x plus 6 times x, the width, at most less than or equal to 40. Now let's simplify. x times x is x squared 
and 6 times x is 6x less than or equal to 40. So this is now the representation of this particular situation. Hopefully you learned something for today's video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Kindly like or comment if you have questions regarding the video. Kindly share to other students for them to learn or master the lesson. And please don't forget to subscribe to be updated for more math lesson videos and turn on the bell for notifications. By the way, thank you so much to all my subscribers. Before I end, let me share to you one of the verses from the Bible. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. Proverbs 1 verse 5 That's all for today, and God bless you all.